Working with Richard Linklater was the primary attraction to doing it. He's a great director. Having the opportunity to work with somebody like that is a pretty big deal. And working with Brian and working with Lawrence Fishburne, we got to rehearse for about a week before we started shooting. I haven't been able to do that on a movie in a long, long time, and it was really fun to be able to, to sit down with Richard and and Lawrence and Brian and the other members of the cast and actually go through the script. It was exciting to get a chance to work with people like that. Apart from everyone who was involved, I thought the script was great. Could be. No way. Way. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, Doc. Wow, Doc, nobody's called me that in a long, long time. <laughs> oh, no, these other two guys, these buddies of his, are Marines. He was sort of the little brother, but they kind of took him under their wing. Guess who this lad is, huh? It's Doc. Also known as Larry Shepard, we were in the service together with your pastor. Bless my soul. Their history and the war and all of these tragic, traumatic events that they went through are really a backdrop to show looks these like interdependencies between that. these three guys. It doesn't feel like one of those movies that you necessarily know exactly where it's going to go, or you know how these characters are going to relate to each other. And I, I like that too, because it felt more honest to me that way. I mean, there's a lot of conflict between these three guys, and there's a lot of personality traits that don't necessarily sync up. I don't want the humor of the movie to be lost either, because there's a lot of really funny stuff in this movie. It's not a comedy. I'd like to pursue the ladies, if you don't know I me. Mean. Quite frankly, no offense, but you cramp my style. You hear the setup for what this is, and it sounds pretty dark, and, and it is. At the same time, there's a lot of funny stuff in it. You're thinking about it? Even in the turmoil between the three characters, there's a definite built-in affection that you can't deny, and I think that goes a long way.